Chiner, Master Herbalist here with Z Natural Foods. And today's most frequently asked question from our customers is, why is it that some of our products will say organic and some don't? And I'm going to go into the difference between the, why the label will say organic for some and why it doesn't for others. This is very simple, okay? So, in the U.S., the law states in general terms, <laughs> that if something is not USDA or maybe there might be other agencies that do this as well, but for the most part, if it's not USDA certified organic, you cannot use the word organic on the label. Now, that does not mean that the products that don't say organic are not organically grown. What we do is we take very special care when we source our products out at Z Natural Foods. And what's done is we find companies that will in fact grow from, from the time that the seed is put into the ground to the end result raw material is a completely organic process. No heavy metals, no fungicides, no pesticides, no chemicals whatsoever. And then we take that one extra step by testing every single item, every single batch of every single item. And we take that one extra step to make sure that that product that gets to you, the customer, is 100% pure and clean. And that's often why you will see, for example, one bag that says organic and one that doesn't. Now, the question is, why would we sell, for example, our blueberry powder, why would we sell both of them? Well, the truth of the matter is, is that when you, the reason why we sell both is because when we sell large amounts of raw materials to other, to other people uh, and to people who want to make their own products, if they want that product to be certified organic, that means all the ingredients in that product need to be certified organic. So therefore, if you're looking to make a product of your own and you want to be organic and certified organic, you need to buy those certified organic items from, from whomever you choose to buy them from. Whereas if you're an individual who just wants organically grown, nourishing blueberries, you don't need to necessarily spend that extra 10 or $15 between the two. You can certainly get just our regular blueberry powder, which is an organically grown, just not certified organic. Now, the other thing that is very important to understand is that the certification process can be a very costly process for the growers themselves, which is part of the reason why not all the growers will opt to certify all of their items or their, all their raw materials. And that's something that's very important to understand. And that cost can be anywhere from a matter of $500 to a matter of thousands and thousands of dollars per individual item. So it's very important to understand that that can be very, that, that might not be a very cost effective thing for some businesses to do. Okay, so with that said, that's why it's important to understand that the true meaning of what organic is, is simply the difference between organically grown and certified organic is a certificate from the USDA. So I hope that that's kind of cleared up some of the confusion between the two and why a label might use the word organic versus why it wouldn't use the word organic and the, the things that go into this entire process. Okay, everybody, so I'll see you next time.